Shalom, Yashirala. Peace be unto the nation of Israel. Who modified the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. I spoke about Israelites being an Israelite foreigners scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon the Great, and we are the Most High, Yahweh chosen people of the nation of Israel. So without further ado, as always, in a Palo Hebrew, meaning ancient Hebrew, and we give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is the God of the living, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barach. What I swear is our praise to Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. Who is our strength and our redeemer and our light and our salvation? In the same tongue, I'm going to go to Adam Mashana Kabwadim La Hasakwanium. Shal Gadawabaka, many double honors to the apostles and elders, um, elder bishops of Great Millstone, the men of one west whose labors we've entered into. And Shalawama in salutation to Bayasha Dawada. All right, the 144,000 elected governing body of the House of David, along with the rest of the one third elect men and women and children of Israel. All right, so fellow servant Malak Rayab, back at it again. Another prophetic update uh, dealing with this last world's war, Harmon God won. Uh, which includes the division of America, Babylon the Great, and their allies. All right, mainly their their NATO and EU allies, part of the beast. You know, prophesied in Revelation 17 and 16, uh, in which this is prophesied there in Revelation 17 and 16. All right, uh, NATO and EU members are going to turn on America, Babylon the Great, due to uh, geoeconomical, uh, uh, geopolitical, and uh, uh, and geomilitary uh, indifferences. Uh, you know, regarding their own, you know, personal vision of their sovereignty, and they're going to attack America, Babylon the Great, all right, and further contributing to uh, the thermonuclear destruction of the whore that sits upon many waters, the sinful kingdom, okay, uh, permitting all manners of perverse debauchery and, and other manners of wickedness. So it says, it says here, uh, it says, uh, Israel has destroyed French multinational company Total Energies gas station in Beirut, which is the capital of Lebanon. It says this comes after Emmanuel Macron banned military aid to Israel. So Emmanuel, uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron called for um, uh, a halt on the military aid to uh, Amalek over there in the Holy Land. All right, them phonies over there. Okay, uh, uh, you know for further benefiting off of uh, you know the aid that they're getting, including from you know taxpaying Americans, modern day Babylonians. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and even in, even of the elect, okay, who are scattered here mainly. Okay, uh, in, in America, Babylon the Great, okay, um, whose taxpaying dollars has also been, you know, uh, exhausted, you know, by the by the wicked, you know, uh, by the wicked elite, you know, to Amalek over there, okay, for the waging war on their enemies, all right, and mainly the dragons of Arabia, you know, so that's further called for uh, the French president Emmanuel Macron to call for a halt on military aid, all right, <clears throat> so you can say, so, you can, so as it says here. Uh, that, that that French multinational uh, Total Energies gas station in Beirut was destroyed shortly after uh, Macron, you know, called for a halt on the military aid. All right, you know, so you know, you know, you see, Bibi, he made his he made his uh, his speech here, pretty anticipated, you know, what sentiment he was going to come with. All right. You see here, Emmanuel Macron says there must be no war in Lebanon. We, we strongly urge Israel to stop the escalation in Lebanon, Hezbollah, to, to cease firing towards Israel and all those, uh, the state of Israel, and all those providing them with the means to do so, to, uh, to stop. All right. So um, let me go ahead and uh, scroll down a bit. Yeah, it says, uh, this is by Dr. Anastasia Maria Lupus. She said, she reported the same thing. It says, Macron wants all Western support for Israel to stop. Less than 24 hours later, French-owned Total Energies Gas and Daia, Beirut, Lebanon was blown up. It says the JEWs are BOM being their allies now. And this lines with prophecy. So let's go ahead and start off with this first one in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24. Start at verse 6 and read down to verse 8. All right, so this is St. Matthew chapter uh, 24 and verse 6 and it reads and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet you know because a part of these rumors of wars are these nations crippling each other's economies all right but you know by attacking oil refineries you know oil tankers commercial ships uh, you know aiding you know with the goods and services you know the commodities that they benefit off of through international trade all right, as you can see here, um, 
in this particular article here is on um, on this platform. All right, let me go ahead and reload it. This on the independent platform. It says Yemen's Houthi rebels, or Houthi rebels, released video claiming to have blown up British oil tankers in Red Sea, and they've been doing that as of recently around that particular area. That's why it's prophesied in Jeremiah 49 to 21 of conflict, okay, uh, surrounding the area in the Red Sea, around the Mediterranean Sea, you know, the Strait of Hormuz, you know, the, um, you know, the the, uh, the Euphrates River, all right, uh, and so forth. So it says, Houthi rebels have released a new video claiming to show a British oil tanker being blown up in the Red Sea. In the footage, what appears to be the Cordelia moon erupts into a plume of smoke after being hit, causing severe damage. The group claims the eight ballistic missiles, that eight ballistic missiles, a drone and an unmanned surface boat were used in the attack. All right. So these are more rumors of wars, man. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, all right, I'm going to get this next precept in Revelation chapter 17. All right. And, and, uh, and 16. All right. Revelation 17 and 16 reads, and it's, uh, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And this is exactly what they're. This is exactly what's further playing out right now. All right, and a, a divide of the ten toes prophesied in the book of Daniel, the second chapter, on behalf of, you know, the 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 modern day EEC, or in this case, the the modern day uh, uh, Eastern Union, formerly known as EEC, on behalf of the beast uh, system with NATO. All right, certain members turning their backs on America, Babylon the Great. For being uh, uh, compromised, uh, you know, by way of, you know, their 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 uh, their non-support of the Western regime of America in, in whichever facet, man, especially in a terrorist uh, facet, you see. You know, because uh, you know, you have Bibby, you know, make this speech. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and bring this out here. All right, I'm going to play this speech here. Seven fronts. I have a message. I have a message for President Macron. Today, Israel is defending itself on seven fronts against the enemies of civilization. We're fighting in Gaza against Hamas, those savages who murdered, raped, beheaded, and burned our people on October 7th. We're fighting in Lebanon against Hezbollah, the most heavily armed terror organization in the world, which was planning an even greater massacre than October 7th on our northern border, and that has rocketed Israeli towns and cities for nearly a year. We're fighting against the Houthis in Yemen and the Shiite militias in Iraq and Syria that together have lost hundreds of drones and weapons. We're fighting against terrorists in Judea. That's Lockheed. Give me one second. Give me one second, Baba Kasha. Got to make this quick. All right, I'm in transit right now, so Salakia. All right.